Okay, so we're here once again in Sword Factory X and we have actually made a little bit of progress and as you've read by the title and the thumbnail, we have gotten our first godly and our first unique since starting this game. So you can actually see the unique in my hotbar down here and as you can see, it is level 243, uh, which is my actual current level as well. It's actually emerald, which is very nice. Obviously, it's godly. Uh, it's only solid because I'm not using this as a damage sword. And it's also got exquisite on it as well, which is very, very nice. Um, I do also have a random hyper sword over here as well, um, which is also very nice from Blake, which is very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, this is currently the godly sword that we have right now. And... Realistically, I, there's not really much else that I can do to this sword. As you can see, we do have things up to like level 500 and stuff. And the only thing that I can really do is probably try and get the greed up a little bit more in terms of the enchant. Um, however, there's not really much more. If we go down to the spawn real quick and have a quick look, um, when we look at the quality list, um, from exquisite onwards, it's one in like 5,000. So obviously, I could kind of sit there and put it on a little bit more. However, I just don't really have the patience, as you guys do know. And obviously, in terms of getting it past Emerald, 1 in 16,000 is actually very, very hard. So, there's not really much point in me doing that. So, yeah, the only real thing that I can really do is get it up um, in terms of the enchants um, from Greed and stuff. And right now, it has, it has actually just gone up as well. So, it just gained another 10 billion there. So, that's actually pretty lucky. Uh, but, yeah, that's a very nice sword. And on the screen right now, you can actually see the unique sword as well. Um, and by the time I did actually get around to selling it, and that's the reason I don't have it here right now. But by, t by the time I did actually come around to selling it, it was around 500 billion, which is very, very nice. And you might also see that, again, it has Blake's name in it because it did actually help me kill that boss as well. So that was very nice of him. Uh, but yeah, we've progressed pretty well through this game now and we're only seven levels away from getting the next, um, from the next island. And as you can see over here as well, we're only around, well, we're just under 100 spawns away from getting um, and a quad spawn. So obviously, hopefully, this godly should be able to get me up to level um, 250. If not, then I do have some other swords down here as well. I have a two hypers and an ultimate to maybe help me along there as well. Um, but yeah, we're on a pretty good path right now. As you can see, um, this sword is actually pretty good. And... I feel like now this is probably more or less done in terms of getting more money on it. So yeah, the only things that I really have left to do is maybe get this sword up a little bit. I do also have another hyper sword here that I'm actually going to um, get up as well. So we'll go ahead and put this one down. Um, we'll get the level up first and stuff like that. So hopefully by the time it does come round to that quad spawn happening, we should be around level 250. Uh, but yeah, right now our bank is looking pretty barren. This is just random things that have kind of just spawned in my bank. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of mythicals here, but they've got like different things in it. This one's got Ephron on it, Ephron on it. And we've got an absurd, another absurd, and we've got an exquisite, which is kind of nice, not too bad at all. Um, someone did end up putting down this random level one super minus, um, which also has best and platinum on it as well. So that's kind of weird, but sure, I guess. Um, and then there's also this other random uh, old mega sword over here, just because why not? Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty well right now. As you can see, we're doing this exact same technique as we were in the last Sword Factory, just to kind of like fill up the bank and just get things selling and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so we're doing pretty well right now. And one thing that I do want to show off is my damage sword. So as you can see down here right now, um, I'm going to actually drop, drop, uh, drop it real quick. Um, this was a, a level 310 Ultimate Plus Plus sword given to me by Aslo, so very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's got an unimaginable... Uh, unimaginable on it and it's also gotten some decent um, enchants on it we can actually go ahead and maybe get those enchants up a little bit because right now it is doing around uh, i think it said just under three billion damage um so let's go ahead and real quick take this sword off because it has just leveled up uh, we can maybe try and get the enchants up a little bit now i'm not too sure how much but i would like it to be around three billion just to kind of even it off a little bit uh, but yeah i will actually show that sword off in a little minute but right now um, in terms of the machines, yeah, as we are doing that old technique still, um, I have all of my things on times 16, apart from my classifier, because it doesn't really matter. Um, apart from the upgrade as well, that's on uh, 32 times, because for some reason, that's the only one that can go through instantly, whilst being on level 500 on 32 times, the rest of them are on 16 times. For some reason, I don't know why it works like that, but it just does. Uh, but yeah, this is going up any... Uh, it's gone up a little bit into something, so maybe it's doing 3 billion. It's now doing 3 billion, very nice. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly jump over here. We'll go over to the Icy Plains biome. 
And there has actually been some pretty good spawns in here. As you can see, there's a Neon Omega over here that I am tempted to try and see what it's going to do, but I feel like it'll probably insta-kill me, so maybe best to stay away from that for right now. Uh, but yeah, this is where the Unique spawned. There was also a couple of Godlies that have spawned in here, some Hyper Bosses as well. Uh, we do also have two Ultimates over here that I may as well just go up and pick up real quick, because why not? Uh, but yeah, in terms of the rest, I think there's another Hyper Boss down there. Oh, no, never mind, that's the Omega Boss. Uh, but yeah... Overall, it's been pretty good in terms of spawns. Um, as you can see, um, our damage sword still isn't exactly the greatest. Now, obviously, killing a ultimate boss that quickly is still pretty good. However, yeah, it's still not exactly the best. And when it comes to things that are like trillions of um, health, like uniques and godly bosses, it does take quite a while. Uh, my previous damage sword was only like, I think it was like 300 million. And when I was killing that unique beforehand, it would have took me like 8 hours to kill it, which was absolutely devastating. So, thankfully, Blake did end up helping me out, which was very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, we should definitely get up to level 250. And by the time that quad does spawn, I'll probably try and record it just because why not. Um, I have seen some people getting things like Celestial Bosses, which is kind of cool. So, hopefully we can be that lucky as well. Um, that's not the sword I want to sell. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is actually put this in here. Um, just so I don't accidentally sell it yet. Uh, well, I don't want to sell that one at all. I will also put my godly one in there as well, just because why not? Um, we'll jump back here real quick and keep upgrading these other swords. And yeah, we're doing pretty well right now. Um, hopefully we can get another unique at some point so I can actually show it off in the video instead of um, selling it before recording because I was just way too eager to get all of the levels and all of the cash and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.